Movie Time is produced by John DeSando. Listen to shows and read reviews online at wcbe.org. I'm John DeSando. And I'm Mary Urena. And this is It's Movie Time. And Mary, we're just really drowning in uh, <laughs> Oscar at this time of year. I mean, and I'm beginning to feel the effects because I'm having a tough time figuring out what movie we're going to review next week. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it, it happened for the next few months. That's okay. Yeah. But I discovered one. Mary, I knew nothing about Two Leslie. I had not heard of it either. And Andrea Riseborough is a nominee for Best Actress. She is. <laughs> and and she, she plays Leslie in this film. Yeah. So what's the deal? So Leslie, going by the nickname Lee is a single mother alcoholic in small town western texas i believe how and much mileage do you think filmmakers have gotten out of west texas a lot oh. <laughs> <laughs> but ironically this is not filmed in west texas <laughs> right, it was right. filmed in los angeles um and we basically meet her when she's really reaching the low point of her alcoholism after having won the lottery six years before, and it wasn't the mega millions that we're hearing about today. It was about $190,000, yeah. but uh, it didn't make her life better and didn't save her from her alcoholism, and she has broken relationships and uh, nowhere to stay, no job, and it's really, we join her in this moment in life uh, and, and see where she goes from there. Yeah, it's a few years after. It's about six years, six I think, years, after. Because yeah. mm -hmm. her son, I think, is 12 or 13 when she wins. And yeah. we at the beginning of the film, she actually goes and stays with him, and he's 19 or 20. So yeah. That's about it's, the right time. There's a very nice clip they played more than once about the the moment that they announced that she, or that she announces that she had, has won the 190000 or whatever, and she's very excited and thinks that she's going to do with the money. and. Uh, uh, there's something a little bit hollow about it, or, or sure. you know, uh, but still, it, it's 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 a it's a great little piece to show because that's what her potential lover, uh, who it was played by Mark Maron, right? Maron. Maron, yeah, by Mark Maron. Uh, he he looks at that as a sign of the good person that she really is. Yes, and somebody who had dreams. Um, we see the full clip later in the film because of his advocacy of everything that she said, um, which included the dream of owning her own diner someday. Yeah, yeah. And I, you know, I have to caution people. <clears throat> I'm going to be very positive about this film to Leslie. Uh, it's a revelation to me. I, and for me personally, it's the best performance I saw all year. And I have to admit that I thought Kate Blanchett was the best for, I don't know how long it's been. That I've said <laughs> A that. long time since we reviewed Tar. Yeah, and boy, since then, I, I have said she is going to get it. And I still believe she may get it. But the, uh, in To Leslie, Andrea is superior, superb. And I want you to know you're not going to look at disgust with her. No, it's actually a very, I don't want to say it's a sympathetic portrayal, but it's, a, it's such a deeply honest portrayal. Yeah, that's um, a good word. Especially if you, like me, have had someone in your family close to you who's an alcoholic. I'm, I'm fortunate that my family member is recovered and has been sober for 25 plus years, but it is a harrowing addiction it destroys lives, and we join her when her life, as I said, is at its lowest. And I think that the thing that's amazing about Andrea's performance is she's able to portray this alcoholic, I felt very true to the experience and the addiction, but she amazingly is able to keep you sympathetic to her without getting schmaltzy or cliche. Yes, yes, yes. And I think that is such a fine balance that she and the director, Michael Morris, uh, struck with this character because she's 
I, I was hard pressed to think of any scene where she was not in in this film, and uh, she really carries. This I think film. she was in almost every one. I think so. Wow, wow. And your word, honest. That's the one that strikes me as is, is, is covering everything about her personality and the way in which she portrays her. Yeah, is so spot on. It seems I've never been an alcoholic, but I have seen some of the way you have. You've been experiencing them. And it is devastating. It's very difficult. That there's a moment where she has a flask outside, mm -hmm. and it clearly a pivotal moment. And she could go either way. Right. She could drink from that, or she couldn't. And I thought, well, that's that's about. I'm I'm with her all the way, and I'm fearful that she right. may take the drink. And that happened again earlier. In addition to the flask scene, um, after she's self detoxed and is sober. Um, you know, she's faced with some challenges and goes to a bar, orders a drink and a shot, um, and you can kind of, it's set up so that you can see her falling back into her old ways, um, and we learn that she actually walks away, and um, as similar to, you know, when we see her with the flask, she's struggling with it's that's my safety that's my comfort when things are going bad and i don't want to deal with it um you know to want to seek comfort in alcohol and it's it's really uh it's it's handled like i said i think very true and very honest you see her internal struggle through her eyes not so much uh externalizing it with dialogue because I don't think that's truly what you'd see with an alcoholic either. They would quietly be struggling um, inside as to what to do in those situations. And I also think there was a, a fairly honest portrayal, although I think it's, it's, you know, it's challenging because you, there are points in the story where she returns to where her problems began in terms of the relationships, the people in her hometown, mm -hmm. her mm -hmm. hometown, and as anyone who has struggled with alcoholism or has an alcoholic in their family, you know that those triggering environments and triggering events generally are to be avoided. Yes. Um, and it's when you go back into those environments that it's most challenging to maintain your sobriety. And, and, we, and that's portrayed, I thought, quite honestly oh, by yeah. the film. Those moments are so dangerous. And what I love about the film is that I'm drawn into it. I don't know whether I'm feeling like a very close companion of hers, or whether I'm actually feeling like her. But those moments are, are devastating in the, in the potential for destroying her again. And she does rise and fall. Uh, one of the ones that I love is, is, is a simple one. When she's, at, after she goes back to her son mm -hmm. and he leaves, she starts rifling through his stuff to find yeah. uh, cash or, or drinks or whatever. And, and there is a frustration in that as you watch her and say, no, no, don't do that, please, I know where you're going. And she just falls back. Well, the addiction at this point in her life is stronger than the love for her son, she, which she clearly has. Yes. And her son is played by Owen Teague, who's loosely based on the writer of this story. Yes. Um, and, the, it's, and it's inspired by and semi-autobiographical by the writer. Um, and Michael Morris, who's been a longtime TV showrunner, very much director, most recently multiple seasons with Better Call Saul. Right. Yeah. This is his first feature film. And what what a marvelous transition he has made. Absolutely, and he's you can tell that he's a he's a gifted storyteller. And you know this is a low budget film. It was made for <laughs> under a million dollars. It was shot in three weeks in Los Angeles in 2021. Yeah. It premiered at South by Southwest earlier in 2022. Um, and interestingly, when it was released um, after that, it only made like $28,000 in, in, at the box office for the limited release that it had. When I saw the film with my friends, um, there were at least 20 people in the theater. Um, so her nomination has brought uh, recognition to this film, and I think it's a film that um, is so true and so honest and her performance so compelling. You will be greatly rewarded um, if you seek this film out. Uh, just shortly after uh, many of her A-list friends 
had promoted the film. It, it made 200,000 some. Yeah. <laughs> so, yes, it, <clears throat> it went from that to that. Now, Mary Arena, oh my, we're almost done. And I think people should consider going to WCBE's podcast experience and the podcast Back Talk, in which you and I will be talking back at people for uh, at length, and particularly <laughs> about the brouhaha yes, over this film. So let's do that. Brouhaha. Mary, what do you recommend? As I said, I think you will enjoy this film if you seek it out. <laughs>